You know what's crazy? I just did the math because I just made that new Amazon list and this is the total. That's a uh, pre-tax, $200. That's good. That's good. This is just more than the music. MTMG. Yo, what's good, y'all? All right, so this video is going to be fairly easy. Today, I want to talk about how you can set up your recording little, little mini studio session. I'm going to tell you the, the things that you need for it. Um, I wrote them down. I actually made an Amazon list a while ago, years ago, because I had this question. And um, <laughs> I was on the phone with my bro, Terrence, and he was like, yo, like, what do I need to make a studio? And I was like, you know what? I might as well make a video about this. So that can know all the equipment that you need on a budget. This is the best stuff that you can get. Look it up and research yourself what you want to get but this is the stuff you can get on a budget at least like three hundred dollars three hundred dollar budget you can get you can set yourself up for a real good studio two hundred dollars that's good plus in my last video shameless plug you can get my vocal preset so you can really sound good um you can see right here i'm on amazon you go on amazon this is the list i made you got a pop filter definitely need that a microphone stand this is good right here a tripod these speakers are just generic speakers so when you're listening in your room you can play it back these are pretty decent these are whatever i found on the web i thought they were pretty decent i don't have them i have the krk rocket uh fives of course you got the focus right scarlet solo 99.99 but right now i guess it's 107 that went up but uh it always used to be 99.99 and this is renewed dang this is an audio interface this is another audio interface the behringer Euph euphoria both of them are decent i had a a long time ago i had a m audio audio interf interface it was decent it was really good i mean focus right probably is the most popular and that's what i have right now i got the step up above this one which is the uh the 2i2 I think yeah I got one of those microphone right here it's $99 it's an XLR cable mic like a regular microphone that you plug in you know with the XLR cable audio technica this is the XLR cable this is a, a vocal shield so like when you record your vocals you can um you know keep it from bouncing off the walls really so that does help one you know less uh less reverb in your vocals so this is pretty much everything that you would need um one thing i will add to this list you don't need to get those two microphones right here you don't need these two because um you could also get a usb microphone which is much cheaper usd usb microphones have come a long way i used to use a usb microphone when i first started recording even when i was in uh in uh training in the army when i was in ait i i bought a usb microphone and it was really good my project called god mix 2 was made on that microphone it was a usb microphone and then when i left i sold it to another kid who wanted to make music i sold it to him but it served me good it was definitely real good um this is everything and they add some other stuff on here in the bottom let's let, let's even look at some usb microphones since i don't have it up here you got the blue yeti you got the Mano. This is $52. That's crazy. Uh, the USB mic I had was Toner. T-O-N-O-R. Yeah. This is the one I'm actually recording on right now. This one right here. No. This one. Right here. That's the one you hear me on right now. And uh, yeah, they're, they're not they're not expensive. USB microphones have come a long way. Um, they have really better quality now, but they're not expensive. This one's, this is a whole kit you get for $52.69. That's decent. That's really good. Pop filter, a mic stand, uh, two pair of speakers, an audio interface, a microphone, an XLR cable, or if you get a USB mic, you don't need an XLR cable. You just need a USB cable. Optional, an isolation shield. Those, those are optional. I have one as you can see right here, but it's optional. Um, yeah and then if you if bro i'm telling you you could go on here the stuff don't gotta be costing that much you can get a pair of speakers that are definitely cheaper than the ones that i put on this list i'll um i'll leave a link in the description for this list and i'll put another list that's definitely like i'll put another list and i'll make it under 300 dollars of stuff that i would pick out i would personally buy on amazon myself just as, just as a starter studio i'll leave a link in the description so y'all can see it minimum wage job you could buy this you could buy this off of like one check you know what i'm saying and you'll be straight <clears throat> there's other things you have to do when it comes to recording like one thing that i learned that's it that i used to do i used to record like right by the wall like i used to put my microphone right next to the wall and then i found out that's terrible <laughs> that's really bad and i didn't have a sound shield at the side an isolation shield you really want to record in the middle of the room the reason why is because your voice will bounce off the walls come back into the microphone so if you're really close to the wall that's a short distance so the sound could give like a it could give like a double feedback effect into the mic the quality will, will make a difference if you go like in the middle of the wall in the middle of the room away from the wall 
you will hear a definitely a definite difference in quality when it comes to recording pop filters help for sure they, they stop literally any sound that you make like when i make the pop sound it comes with a force of air so it'll it'll catch that air also i'm gonna show you right here hold on this right here i don't know what it's called i use it for two things as a protector and another thing for i use it for to protect my microphone because so dust doesn't co collect into my mic because i have it out like most of the time and two i use it for like my t's and s's because the way i speak i have very strong uh, t's and s's when i record and you can hear them they're pretty prominent yeah so i use that thing i don't know what it's called but if you if your microphone comes over to like a little foamy protector i use it you know what i'm saying you don't have to use it but i use it so you whatever you, you, you decide if you want to do that that's pretty much it pop filter a microphone um a usb mic or a regular xlr cable mic you definitely need a mic stand whether you're doing that at the desk or not i would get a mic stand because like i said you should record away from a wall or any like object that'll bounce sound off of it if you got a tight space do the best you can do the best you can um sometimes you might even have to just hold it Rotate. up if you're on a budget and you're hungry this is for the hustlers out there if you're hungry and you're trying to make some good music and this is this will definitely lead you in the right right step because it's more quality and uh, i'll leave the link in the description you know what i'm saying so shout out to y'all god bless y'all and um be good in jesus name praise for the homies jesus always for me who could be a nephew when i'm shooting they get ugly i'm for praise for the homies jesus always for me who could be a nephew when i'm shooting they get ugly